Morning parents, today I'm going to show you how to log in to ActiveLearn. So follow along with me to get your child started on ActiveLearn. So first you want to go to Google and in the search you can just type in ActiveLearn. And it'll be the first one that you want to click. So click that first link. It'll bring you to this page where you want to click log in. It will then bring you here to the sign in page. I've just made up an example child to show you. So you would have been given all these three bits of information. If you don't have them or you're unsure, contact the office and they can help you. So I'll log us in and it'll bring you to their home page. So your child's name will be where it says example and this is their general home page. There's all different things that you can click and touch that move and make sounds. So your child will be able to play along. I understand that you might not have a touch screen, but I'm going to touch on here just to show you what to do. So all of their things that are allocated to them from their teacher will be under my stuff. And it'll bring you up to this screen. There'll be different little squares here depending on your child and what your teacher has allocated to your child. So the bug club is the reading books based on your child's level and where they're at in the reading scheme. Then you also have web links that your teacher has assigned to you. It's all individual and all based on your child's learning. There could be a science club, there could be math and abacus. So it all really is completely individual to your child. So let's look at bug club. I'm going to open this book. It opens the book for me. This is the, I'll go to the beginning of the book. You can have the book read to you um, if you don't feel confident in English or reading it to your child. Some of these books may not have words, some of them do. It really depends on your child. So you can either click read to me. I want to play this. And it'll read through the whole story for your child and you can click next to go on to the different pages. It'll continue reading if that's what you've chosen. Um, as you go through the book, there'll be this little button here. You want to click on to the little bug face. Which activity was Zach thinking about? And you want to answer the question. Click on one picture. When you answer these questions, it helps show your teacher that you've completed the book and you've done the work and it also helps get you points to get rewards on the site. Um, let's just use this one. Let me click done. Oh, Oops. Was wrong. Try again. So I click OK. I'll choose this one. Then I click done. I got Very right. good. So I click OK. And then I'm just going to choose finish the book. So I can click the X here at the bottom if I'm finished, but you'll want to go all the way through the book, clicking on the little bug face um, when his eyes are open to show that there's more to do. So I click the X, I want to close the book. So it'll show that I've opened it. You can also go to some web links. When you want to go to those, you just click on there and it opens it up in YouTube for you. For watching, don't forget to click so it opens it right up and it shows which ones you've opened as well. Once you've completed and read books, they'll appear in my library and it shows which ones you've totally completed so you can reread them over again. As you read books, as you work through the different games and activities, you'll be able to earn rewards for as many as you do. There's different games, there's a racing game there. There's a sticker book here as well that you can get different stickers. There's lots of things to do and explore on here. Just click where you want, different things move. It's quite fun and interactive for the children. For grown-ups, there's a different area to help you get the most out of all of the things on here and also help you know to help support their learning. Again, if you have any questions, just contact the office and let us know.